Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of High School Stories, and today's actually going to be a cut com. Uh, I'm going to experiment with these again because they're a lot easier to make. Uh, I still will post full gameplays, but anyway, today's topic is the strictest teacher I've ever had. So I'll start talking about that once I get into the game. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm loading up a Horizon Team Deathmatch gameplay, and um, so my strictest teacher. Uh, he wasn't strict in the fact that he enforced the rules so much. He was just strict in his grading system. Um, so this is going to be a strictest grading teacher. Uh, we wrote an essay, and it was MLA format, so the margins had to be one by one by one by one. And um, the margins, um, this was a group essay. So it was a ten-page group essay. So everybody, and there was five people in my group, so everybody had to write two pages. Not too bad. Except for the fact that if your margins weren't one by one by one by one, the whole group would fail. So I'm freaking out, thinking, oh god, what if my margins are off and I cause my group to fail? So he literally would take a ruler and measure the margins and margins, and if you didn't have the right margins, or if the font didn't look correct, even if it was correct and your printer just messed it up in one spot, you were failing. It was it was horrible. Um so anyway, my this is for the semester exam, just so you guys know. So this is a huge. This is ten percent of my semester grade, um, and the other ninety percent is my two quarters. So my one guy in my group project decides, oh, why not test his theory on the margins, and why don't I not put the right margins and see what he does? So. He puts the 1.25, and my teacher literally took a ruler and said, this doesn't look like one point, one by one margins. So he measured it, and he's like, yeah, this isn't one by one. So we failed the group project. We got a 69 on the group project because one kid tried to experiment with it. I was pissed. And then, so I decide after class, I'm like, all right, why not talk to him and maybe get that one kid to fail? And... So, they're like, okay. He says, okay. And he, sa he says he's only going to fail the one kid. So I'm relieved. Like, oh, I'm not going to fail for the semester. Or I'm not going to fail the semester exam. I check my grade connect. And I'm failing the semester. I failed the semester exam with a, se with a 65. I said my grade was a 69, remember. So I, I go up to him in class the next day. I'm like, why do I have a 65 on the group project? He's like, I thought you, you're, he's like, your, gr your group failed, didn't they? I was like, yeah, but I thought I'd talk to you about only failing the one kid since he wanted to be smart. And he's like, oh, no, that's not fair. And I was like, so why did I get four points off anyway? And he's like, oh, because I don't like you. Literally said that to my face. Oh, because I don't like you. I was pissed. Like, I'm, think I'm sitting here thinking, what? That's, that's not really fair. So I decide, all right, all right, I'm going to go to the academic, the principal of academic affairs. Um, and so I go to the uh, assistant principal of academic affairs, and she says, okay, you'll get the 69, but you're not getting the grade you would actually deserve if the kid had messed up. And I'm thinking, all right, whatever, 69 is better than a 65. And you guys may only be thinking, oh, it's four points, but when it's a... When it's 10% of your grade, those four points can matter. Those four points can make a huge difference. Now, granted, I fi I finished the quarter with like a 95, or the semester with like a 95, but I'm still like really worried because I'm like, well, this isn't fair because my just because my one guy in my group project decides that he wants to mess with the teacher, why is that fair to me? That, um, that why is it fair to me that I'm gonna fail because my one g kid in my group project set uh decides to mess with the teacher. It's not like it was something I could have prevented. It was the kid who printed it out. And even my teacher admitted, like, oh, yeah, it's not something you could have prevented. But he just doesn't like the kids in my group. So I'm just sitting here. I'm, I'm like, getting ready to flip out on this teacher. And finally, I went up and I calmly said, all right, I understand I'm not going to get the grade I deserve. But could we redo the essay and just print out the right margins for that two pages that was messed up and he's like no and I was like okay how about for 15 points off instead of 30 he says no I'm just thinking alright whatever this guy wants to be a jerk so I'm like f again freaking out and just getting so frustrated 
and this teacher's being just a complete jerk to me, and I, I mean, I understand he, he, it wouldn't be fair if he changed the one kid's grading system, but he's literally saying to me, I don't like you, and that's why I'm not treating you right. Because another group went up to them, and he changed their grade. So, uh, at this point, and I'm just thinking, my god, if, if he doesn't change my grade, I'm going to, to uh, uh, academic affairs. Sorry, I stuttered on that. So, he didn't change my grade, and right before report cards were mailed out, I went to academic affairs, and I said, listen, he changed he changed the grade of another group of girls. He's just not changing a group, the grade because he says... It li he admits that he doesn't like us, and that's why he's not changing my grade. So my teacher's like, all right, I'm going to go talk to him. Or, I mean, not, not my teacher, the assistant principal. So finally I end up getting the 85 I should have gotten in the first place because he he decided he was going to let us change it. I mean, there, he said literally to us that there was nothing wrong with the paper. And... I'm thinking, okay, so if there's nothing wrong with the paper, why can't he just cut him, cut us some slack? It's like he said, not even down to the single grammatical error, there wasn't one. Because that's because I proofread it real quick, real quick, and I'm not even joking. I seriously did proofread it, and he's like literally being so strict, and I'm getting so angry. Finally, I just got my passing grade. I'm relieved. I pa I finished the semester with a 95, like I said. Uh, Alright guys, so another thing this teacher did is I walked into his class like literally like two seconds after the bell rang because I was out in the hallway helping a teacher move something. And this teacher is freaking 90 years old and I'm just like, oh, why not help the elderly? And of course, that gets me five demerits because I'm late to class. Like, this teacher wants to be a, what we call a demerit puncher at my school and freaking write me up for being two seconds late to his class I'm thinking I, I and I said can I go get a late slip from my uh, from the teacher or something no doesn't let me go get a late slip like I could I had an excuse listen to me brother I just want Hulk Hogan there um I just call the guy brother yeah uh, that was a bad joke anyway I'm thinking like listen to me like I can get a late slip you know I have an excuse you just hate me and you even admit it to me so, finally, he lets me go get a late slip after arguing with him for, like, t 10 minutes. And by this point, I could have been gotten the late slip and been back in his class. And so, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't end up getting the demerits, but it just pissed me off that he tried to write me up like that. Like, dude, chill. Stop being a demerit puncher. I don't even know what his actual term is, but I call it demerit puncher. But, like, still, like, why does he have to give me... Why does he have to care... Shut the merits. Like, it's not a big deal. I was two seconds late. It's not like I would walk in like a half hour late to his class. Like, I walked in two seconds after the bell rang. And it was literally like something stupid. Like, she dropped her books and I picked it up for her or something. I, like, come on, dude. Man, this teacher pisses me off, dude. Okay, so another thing this teacher does is he doesn't let you go to the bathrooms. And his, his class is seventh period. We have eight periods. And. So we're sitting in this class for 45 minutes, and I mean, you're obviously some people are gonna have to pee in that course of 45 minutes. So whenever you have to pee, and whenever you ask to go to the bathroom, he always says, "Well, why didn't you go last period? Well, I didn't have to go last period. Otherwise, I would have gone last period." Um, and this it got to the point one time where this one girl pissed her pants because he wouldn't let her go. Literally pissed her pants because she had to go that bad, and he wouldn't let her go. Like. We're not learning anything. You're showing us your stupid pictures that you're taking because you're a stupid photographer that, that's not professional because your pictures suck. I'm kidding. Your pictures are actually pretty good. But still, like, you're not doing anything. And, like, Jesus Christ, dude. Just let her go to the bathroom. She's got to pee. What's, what's her going to the bathroom going to do? Like, it's not like she's going to smoke a joint while she's in there. Plus, the bathroom's, like, right next to your classroom. So it's not like it's going to take her two hours to go there unless she's got to go that bad. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my stories about my horrible teachers and my me getting pissed off about this horrible teacher. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.